Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to another video. Um, today's um, video, I'm actually going to be doing a item shop review. I haven't done one of these in a while, so it kind of feels weird. I haven't done an item shop review in a few months, probably. But I'm going to try to do one every once in a while. Maybe I'll get back to it. But yeah, let's see what we got in today's item shop, guys. Let's just check it out. Okay, up first we got the... Oh wow, these haven't been on for a while. We got the Uncharted skins. These are actually pretty rare. Okay. We got uh, Nathan Drake, which looks like Tom Holland. I'm actually not sure if it's Tom Holland, but let me know. Is that Tom Holland? It looks just like him, but I honestly don't know. And then, so we got the Nathan Drake style. And then we have the Nathan Drake Uncharted 4. And then A Thieves and I'm guessing that's the movie, I, I guess. I don't know. But here it is. I personally like the first style better. Uh, then we have Chloe Fraser. Chloe Fraser. She comes with three styles. She has the No Jack style. And then the the Lost Legacy style, which I think is the best. Or no, I actually like this style the best. The Chloe Fla uh, Fraser. I like this the original style better. But that's that. For the back bling, we got Chloe's pack. Just... Can't really even tell what that is. I don't know. It's like, yeah, you guys. I don't know, but it looks pretty cool. Make some combos with that. We got the second hand saber. Actually, looks really cool. It's a rusty sword. I actually really like that. I think that looks really good. We have the update journal emote. Just updating the journal. You know, nothing, nothing too good. Not a real good emote. Kind of basic. Oh, we got the, uh, Soli's new, um, seaplane. I forget how you got this. I remember, like, a year ago. This was a while ago. You could get this glider, uh, for free. I don't know how. I totally forget how. But I know there was a way to get this for free. And a lot of people were complaining how bad it was because it's a ginormous glider. Everybody was heated because it, it was a free glider and they, they, they looked, it looks really cool. It's like a battle plane coming out of the sky, but it's ginormous. Everybody hated it. Everyone who, I mean, everyone who got it, it was so rare that they just brought it back. That's, that's pretty cool how they brought that back. But yeah, it, it was really rare. No one, basically no one had it. I mean, like streamers and stuff like that. But there it is. Uh, Soli's new seaplane right there. And then we got the Parashurama axe. Hope I am saying that right. Right there. That actually looks really cool. I actually got this one gifted from a subscriber, so thank you. And yeah, there it is. It says new uh, above it. Even though it's not new, it just was never in the item shop. But yeah, somehow you could get it for free. I honestly don't remember. If you guys know how, let me know. If you guys know how or have it and didn't buy it from the shop, let me know how you could get it for free. I know there was a way. Or maybe it wasn't for free. Maybe it was for buying the video game or something like that. I don't know. It was something like that. But... Then we got Zuri back in the item shop with really sweaty skin. She also uh, has the fresh ink style, which I can't tell the difference. I don't know what is different on the fresh ink style. I just don't know. Do you guys see a difference? I don't. Yeah, I, I don't see a difference. But yeah, if you guys know what the difference is, let me know. <laughs> because I really don't know. There's a lot of let me know in this item shop. But we got the Enchanted uh, Feather Fighters back when That actually looks pretty cool. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. And it also includes the Best in the Ring um, loading screen. This is actually a pretty fire loading screen. I actually really like that one. That's how it looks like, is it? Oh, yeah, it is. Then we got the Empowered DHA katana that is so cool i actually really like this katana a really sweaty katana amazing pickaxe overall look at that animation when it swings that's really cool we have the gilded guy this is the skin that's like hey snipe me free headshot first of all you, you can get seen from three miles away second of all got the biggest head in the game can't miss it like come on epic really we got the slush fighter cape. Pretty sweaty cape. No one really uses it though. But 
I mean, if you see someone using it, you know they're a sweat. Just, like, look into his eyes. Isn't he intimidating? He, like, I'm really intimidated right now, guys. I'm actually kind of scared. But, yeah, I would not be wearing, rocking this skin unless you got a death wish. We got the uh, Stella, Stella, Stella Pin Smash Pack. Actually, a really cool pickaxe. I really like this one. For some reason, whenever you hold the pickaxe, it shows a default. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about, but there's that. Um, down below, we got Madcap back in the item shop um, from Chapter 3, Season 1. I remember when we got a, this skin, everyone was freaking out. They were all excited. But, yeah, here this is. This actually looks pretty good with the FNCS back bling. Look at that. Actually, that looks pretty good. So, we got Madcap. He's just a mushroom dude. He has been in the shop for quite a few days. Probably, not a days, but quite a few weeks. Um, he got the Bellow bag back bling, which actually looks pretty cute. <laughs> You got some mushrooms in like a little pot. I don't know. And then you got the glow style as well. And then he also comes with the glow style, right? Yeah, he does. He comes with the glow style, which who doesn't want the glow style? But there's that. We got the crescent shroom. You can get this for free back in chapter three, season one. Um, I think it was from doing some challenges. I forget. But yeah, you could get this for free. So I actually did get that for free. We got the metal mouth skin. Pretty cool skin. You don't see too many wearing this. Um, comes with the Arctic style and the jungle style. Honestly, a pretty bad skin. I just prefer Zadie. I feel like this male skin is just kind of bad. But then we got the spiked mace. It comes with the Arctic style and the jungle style. We got the challenges you can do to unlock the styles. We got, And then we have Zadie with the Arctic style and the jungle style. Um, down below, we got Brute Gunner, really sweaty skin, uh, all black, which actually looks really nice on her, but look at that, it looks really clean. We got a Street Striker, uh, not much to say about this skin, except for the fact he's wearing, like, purple, and it just doesn't look good. His, like, hoodie is gold, and it just doesn't look good, I don't know. We got Dream Feet. One of my favorite emotes in the game back in the day. I was dying to get this. Once it came to shop, no hesitation to buy it. Literally bought it the second it came out. And we got Zanny, another one of my favorite emotes. This actually used to be my favorite emote in the game until I actually got it. Then I realized how bad it was. But it's not even that bad. It's just the music. I always thought the music was better. But we got uh, Tiniest Violin. I actually like this emote. Uh, then we got Taxi, right here. Pretty cool emo, honestly. I don't know. I don't see any ways with this to be toxic or nice. I don't know. I mean, you can obviously do this in the middle of the street. Somebody could pick you up, but like, I don't know. We got Lil Octane, which, if you guys didn't know, I just made a few videos on the new Rocket League things. Make sure to go check out those videos, guys. Um, but this is the emo right here, Little Octane, Chapter 2, Season 6 emo. Uh, hasn't been off for a while. And then, of course, we got the Adia's Level Up Quest Pack. Oh, we got the defaults back in the item shop. I'm not going to go over all of these. I mean, I, I guess I will, but real quick. We got the Vintage Ramirez with the camo style. Um, up next, we have the uh, Vanguard Banshee. I actually like that Banshee name. I don't. I feel like it means something, but I don't know what it means. Like Banshee? I, f I feel like I know what it means, but I don't. Uh, so we got the default style there, and then we got the camo style. Um, then we have the WoW Streak 1 with the camo style. And then my personal favorite, Headhunter Prime, with the camo style. Now we got, um, Jonesy. Jonesy the first. No style for this one. Hawk Classic with the camo style. Original Renegade with the camo style. I remember rocking these when I had no skins. It used to be the original skins they gave you. Default and then the camel. Ca sorry, not camel. Camo style. And then, of course, the OG glider. That sound brings me back. That's amazing. But yeah, and then we got some Christmas bundles. They're actually both really cool Christmas bundles. Never really got them because I feel like they're way too much for what they give you. But honestly, really, really cool. 
Uh, we got the Frozen knockups. I love this skin so much. I wish I had this one. Uh, Frozen Fish Stick, a meme skin. I, I would take it, but not my favorite. Uh, the Devourer, pretty cool skin. Really cool skin, actually, but kind of a meme skin. Yeah, you would never see me wearing that. I would wear Frozen Nogobs, I would wear uh, Codename Elf, and then he got some really cool styles right here, the main style, and then the Codename Helper style, which is actually really cool. We got the Castle Peak Backbling, pretty cool backbling. We have the Elf Shield, which actually looks really good on the skin I'm wearing. We got the Mint style, which is actually really cool, oh my gosh, that Mint style is crazy. And then the Helper Shield. And then we have the Power Roar built an emote that's one of the christmas bundles for 19.99 um then we have the fortnite frozen legends pack probably one of the better ones one of the better um ones out of the two we have the frozen raven i would rock this quite often i like this one a lot the colors on it are amazing we got the frozen red knight pretty cool not my favorite considering the colors are gray and blue i feel like it doesn't fit the red knight i feel like the Red Knight should be red and black, you know, just like the original. I think they can't, they can't really alter the Red Knight. I feel like the Red Knight's good the way it looks. If you change it, it's just going to look bad. Personally, I don't like this one. We got the Frozen Love Ranger. I love this one. This one looks so clean um, and really cool. Uh, we got the Frozen Iron Cage. Really cool back blings, by the way, right there. We have the Frozen Red Shield, probably one of the best back blings. And then we have the Frozen Love Wings right there. Pretty cool. But yeah, guys, that's about it for this item shop review. If you guys want to see more item shop reviews, let me know in the comments, guys. Also, let me know how many crown ones you guys have. And yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye.